for Korea, and then Alexandra Stepanova and Ivan Bukin for Russia. So here are the first couple, Victoria Sinitsina, Nikita Katsalapov, a brand new couple. He was a bronze medalist, of course, with Ininik in the Olympic Games this year. Now with Victoria Sinitsina, a flamenco and Pasadoble. the short dance there's five required elements one is a short lift not more than six seconds there'll be a step sequence not touching midline or diagonal one set of synchronized twizzles and then they'll do one sequence of the paso doble here's the twizzles a little bit out of sync there you can see good speed across the ice though and immediately after the uh, sequence of the paso doble they have to do a step sequence it's called a partial step sequence, which uh, has two parts of the Paso Doble incorporated into it. The intricacies of the partnership go uh, further than uh, we have described, with uh, Katsalapov skating with Ininik, and of course Victoria Sinitsina skated last year with Ruslan Zhikanshin, who's next to go with Elena Ilinik. So uh, fascinating to know the chemistry behind the scenes there. Oh, super edge work in that step sequence. So now getting ready for the first sequence of the Paso Doble, and here it is. This is the first key point there. Second key point coming up for the man on that mohawk, the open mohawk, and the third key point here in these cross rolls and the swing and the quick open mohawk by the girl. Those are the three key things the judges are looking at in that sequence. And now we've got the partial step sequence. There's the first key point in this. Those slip steps again out of the Paso Doble, looking at the edges from both the man and the lady. They've got to stay and hold all the way through this. And then this swing and the quick mohawk, which is now, that's the second key, po uh, a third key point. What an excellent beginning, still in character, and uh, he was pretty masterful, which is what you have to be, of course, in the uh, Paso Doble. Lord knows what goes on behind the scenes with the, uh, the couples here. They, they uh, obviously train in different places now. These two uh, skate out of Canton in the USA. And uh, Ininik and Zhiganshin skate uh, right here in Moscow and a little bit in Latvia. But uh, behind the scenes here on these Grand Prix events, <laughs> it's fascinating to know. Yeah, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in the dressing rooms, I tell you. I hope there's a few dressing rooms being used here. <laughs> be a good idea to split the teams up. But that was a mighty fine start when you think this is a new t partnership. They looked good, just a little bit out of sorts on the twizzles. But the energy was there. The synchronization wasn't the unison, but uh, it certainly was in the step sequence. I thought that was fabulous. Love the choreography of the program. You're always going to get something super from Marina Zueva, that is for sure. And the, the commitment from Nikita.
you're supposed to be watching the girl, but I, I love the energy that he puts into every performance that he does. There's those twizzles, and you can see they're a little bit out there. I think he was short of a rotation, in fact. So that'll cost a bit. It will indeed. Because this is a very high-class dance competition here, maybe uh, as high as any of these Grand Prix events. Certainly a strong field, wonderful changes of hold. There's the lift. Remember, no more than six seconds. You don't want to get a deduction on that. And this is their first performance together. Vos vastly experienced, of course. Well, he's been uh, very nearly right to the top of the tree. Silver medalist in the European Championships with Elena Ilinuk, bronze medalist in the Olympics. So what's it going to be for these two? They're willing it to be good. It seems to be a great chemistry between these two. Long, long wait. That's never a good sign. That means the technical panel are reviewing some of those elements. But that's what we want. We want them to get it right. Both these two Moscow people born here. And not, not bad at all, 57.96, that's the benchmark now. 